what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. We're right here at Boombastic 2021. And then I have Brent Holden, president of Heimer North America. What's up, brother? Hey, how you doing, Titan? Boom, great to see you great here. Great to see you. So uh, we're in the Heimer tool room. Now, I'm excited because not only are you helping us give free education to the world out there, but you guys have some amazing products and stuff. And uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit about those products and you got some crazy boombastic deals out there for everyone so they can actually raise their game yep. affordable. That's right, Titan, right. we sure do. So we're, uh, we're giving away 20% off of our 3D sensors, kind of our world famous Heimer 3D sensors used in all applications. We're also giving 20% off of our face shields, again, made by Heimer, better than uh, safety glasses in many cases. And then also for our shrink fit machines, balancing machines, tool presetters, we have a special package deal where we're giving away 10 free tool holders with each machine uh, that's purchased. So, that's awesome, yeah. that's awesome. And by the time this airs, because this is the Boombastic Beat, a short episode that happens right after Boombastic, you guys would have given away a pre-setter right. to some lucky individual out there. Yeah, it's right out in the machine. It can be run by anyone. So it's very simple to use, but yet very effective because you could be setting the tools while your machine tool is running. So you're getting uh, the maximum productivity you can get in the shop while you're setting up the next job. And today, I think we're gonna talk a little bit about balancing. Balancing is not black magic. A lot of people get confused by what balancing really is, but it's really just basic physics. So we're gonna talk about the basic physics of balancing. So our apprentices in Germany came up with this little demo to kind of really show people, you know, what are the effects of balance in a very realistic uh, setup. So uh, Sounds good. Yep, so you're gonna be my helper today, Titan. Woohoo! I'm so. the guinea pig. <laughs> He's right. the guinea pig. So in this little demo, Titan is the CNC machine. Here we go. So what we have here is just basically two wheels. We're going to spin it. And as you see, it's nice and stable. So again, Titan's arm is the machine tool spindle. This would be the cutting edge. And as you see, it's running very, very true, very even. So all I'm going to do, Titan, is add 30 grams of mass here to this wheel and spin it again. See his arms moving? Oh, yeah. This would be the cutting edge, so you have uh, the surface finish issues, cutting tool life, maybe part tolerance issues if you're cutting oversize. So what do they do? They slow it down. Now it's pretty stable. But the problem is you're giving away productivity. So it's even more pronounced in some examples where you might have an extreme unbalance in two different planes. So here oh, you see yeah. it's even more, oh, yeah. more dramatic. So in order to correct that, you either have to remove the mass or add mass to bring it back to a stable position. And now, Again, we can run fast. So now you're running fast, there's no movement in the spindle. Because really, if, there, if you have vibration, if you have unbalanced, there's only two places it can go, up into the spindle or down onto the workpiece. So the real payback, again, back to that word productivity, is to be able to sh make sure you're getting the maximum out of the machine tool that you can get by running as fast as it's capable of running. You guys have the problem solving machine over here. That's right, Titan. So yeah, we'll show you kind of how this little demonstration, again, just talking about the real physics of things, relates to actually a tool holder or a tool holder assembly. So we'll That's walk awesome. over to the balancing cool, machine, check it out. So Titan, this is our Tool Dynamic Comfort Plus balancing machine that you have here in your tool room. Absolutely. And uh, this is actually a machine that will identify the unbalance in the tool holder assembly. And I use the word assembly because really that's the key because this is actually how this tool holder is gonna run in the machine tool. So this holder is brought to you balanced at G2.5 at 25,000 RPM. But what we've done now as an assembly, we've added the pull stud. Yep. In this case, it's a CAT 50 tool. And then we've added the cutting tool. So when you do that, that's really how it's gonna run in the machine. So that's what we want to identify and check to see if it's still within balance after assembling the tool. So what we do is we just put it in the machine as such, and it actually clamps on the tool as it would be held in the machine tool spindle. And we're gonna measure the unbalance here uh, and then determine where the tool holder assembly is heavy, and then the machine itself will tell us how to correct that unbalance. And it's either correcting by removing weight, like we did with the magnets, or adding weight, opposite of where it's heavy, or in some cases, displacing weight. We're going to index the tool holder 180 degrees, halfway through the reading, and that's to take any unbalance of the spindle out of the equation. But now it takes the reading one more time, and then we'll get our results over here on the computer screen. It's gonna show us, are we in balance? If not, where do we sit? So now, 
as you see, the results are red. So that's a quick indication that we're not within the quality grade we wanted to be at the RPM we wanted to be balanced to. It does tell us we're balanced to 5,164 RPM at the G2.5. At the 20,000 RPM in this example, we're at G9.6. So you say, okay, what do I do? Well, the machine tells us where to add the weight and how much weight to add. So we simply click on the angle in which to add weight. The machine rotates into position and it tells me to add a weight of 0.8 grams. Once I add that weight, it will bring the assembly into balance. What I have here is a little kit with screws. The screws have a known weight, so I look for a weight that's similar. So here's one at 0.8. Simply grab that weight, and I'm going to add it to this screw hole in the holder. So now I've, I've balanced the tool holder assembly. As you see now, it's green. Green is good, yep. as always. And it tells us we're at G0.8 at 20,000 RPM. So now we've brought this assembly successfully into a proper balance condition. So you could bring this over and confidently run it at the RPM uh, that, that maybe the cutting tool's able to do. And, and in this case, we wouldn't have to slow anything down. We can run it to the max of the particular application. Thank you very much for that education right there. You're welcome, Titans. And for the amazing machines and the deals. Titansofcnc.com slash promo. You can actually see the link to get the deals from Heimer. Boom. Boombastic. We're out.